Section 1 of Library of the World's Best Literature, Ancient and Modern, Volume 3. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Leonard Wilson. Library of the World's Best Literature, Ancient and Modern, Volume 3. Section 1. Essay on Emile Auger, 1820-1889 As an observer of society, a satirist, and a painter of types and characters of modern life, Emile Auger ranks among the greatest French dramatists of this century. Critics consider him in the line of direct descent from Molière and Beaumarchais. His collected works, Théâtre Complet, number 27 plays, of which nine are in verse. Eight of these were written with a literary partner. Three are now called classics, Le Genre de Monsieur Poirier, Monsieur Poirier's son-in-law, L'Aventurière, The Adventuress, and Fils de Giboyer, Giboyer's boy. Le Genre de Monsieur Poirier was written with Jules Sandeau, but the admirers of Auger have proved by internal evidence that his share in its composition was the greater. It is a comedy of manners based on the old antagonism between vulgar, ignorant energy and ability on the one side, and lazy, empty birth and breeding on the other, embodied in Poirier a wealthy shopkeeper, and Monsieur de Presle, his son-in-law, an impoverished nobleman. Guillaume Victor Emile Auger was born in Valence, France, September seventeenth, 1820, and was intended for the law. But inheriting literary tastes from his grandfather, Pigot Lebrun, the romance writer, he devoted himself to letters. When his first play, La Sigue, the Hemlock, in the preface to which he defended his grandfather's memory, was presented at the Odeon in 1844. It made the author famous. Théophile Gautier describes it at length in volume three of his Art Dramatique, and compares it to Shakespeare's Timon of Athens. It is a classic play, and the hero closes his career by a draught of hemlock. Auger's works are Un homme de bien, a good man, L'Aventurière, the adventuress, Gabriel, Le joueur de flute, the flute player, Diane, Diana, a romantic play on the same theme as Victor Hugo's Marion de Lorme, written for and played by Rachel. La Pierre de Touche, the touchstone, with Jules Sandeau. Philbert, a comedy of the last century. Le Mariage d'Olympe, Olympia's marriage. Le Gendre de Monsieur Poirier, Monsieur Poirier's son-in-law. Centure Doré, the golden belt, with Edouard Foussier. La Jeunesse, youth. Le Lion Pauvre, ambition and poverty a bold story of social life in paris during the second empire also with foucier les effrontés brass an attack on the worship of money le fils de giboyer giboyer's boy the story of a father's devotion ambitions and self-sacrifice maitre guerin guerin the notary the hero being an inventor la contagion contagion the theme of which is skepticism paul forestier the story of a young artist le postscriptum the postscript lions et renard lions and foxes whose motive is love of power jean tomeret the hero of which is drawn from sandeau's novel of the same title madame cavelet hinging on the divorce question, Les Fourchambeaux, The Fourchambeaux, a plea for family union. 
la chasse au roman pursuit of a romance and la bille vert the green coat with sando and alfred de Musset, and the libretto for gounod's opera sappho auger wrote one volume of verse which he modestly called parietaire the name of a common little vine the english danewort in eighteen fifty eight he was elected to the french academy and in eighteen sixty eight became a commander of the legion of honor he died at Quassy, october twenty fifth eighteen eighty nine an analysis of his dramas by emile montaigu is published in the revue de deux mondes for april eighteen seventy eight end of section one recording by leonard wilson of springfield ohio